all right so people welcome back yeah to the reasoning still got morals so this one here is literally just a thought process that i've been thinking about that i thought i'll just share with you look just to see what you look think innit? i'll just even make you like even open your mind on a different level so i was sitting here and i was thinking to myself about the um pyramids and how i think that they might have established to make the pyramids and stuff like that and the way that i personally think because as i was saying in one of my previous videos is that you can control energy right as i was saying just gonna briefly touch on it is that for you to get a light in your house basically the energy is already in the air it just needs a source to come through just like with life you know i think that as i said in my last video as well that there's no such thing as death it's just transferring of energy so i was saying to myself that this whole um pyramid thing how i think it was built is that our ancestors was more or less very in tune with the world and the earth and how it runs and they knew more or less about the stars and energy and how to manipulate energy and we can go all the way back and there is histories of it that there was more or less giants walking the earth because obviously we know that different time and a different um what's the word different timing requires different things and different people like the next generation might be shorter than us for example you know what i mean so yes as i was saying there's ja there was giants and as i said there's um actually monuments and logs and data to prove that giant actually walked the earth before you know so it got me here thinking to myself that if our aunt sisters knew certain knowledge because to me the forbidden fruit was just knowledge right the fallen angels basically giving man the heights of knowledge as the creator would have so i personally think as i said it's my full process to get you lot thinking as well that they learn how there's four magnetic fields there's four magnetic fields in this world right and i personally think they learn how to turn off all these magnetic fields which would make gravity don't exist so things can float around float around and i think that they learn how to do that and they turned off a certain energy i know it might sound crazy but how do you get your light to come as i said in my previous video in your house when you turn the switch on right so i think they learn how to manipulate power or energy should i say and they turn off gravity right and which will allow things to flow so all these heavy rocks that no one can actually tell i think they know the knowledge anyway they just don't want to share it with us um to basically what was it saying now to show us basically how this thing turn off or turn on and as i was saying that they learn how to manipulate it anyway i kind of lost my thrill of thought they learn how to manipulate it and what they done was turn it off and i think they use the giants to basically put them in place, put all the stones in place, put all the rocks in place. Because up till now, no one can figure out how did they do that back then with less equipment. So they think anyway, less equipment than we have. Because I think the more we go further in age and time, the less smarter we become. You know, we go backwards just like how the tv used to last for years but then now they don't they only last for a period of time the cars used to last for long they only last for a period of time so this is just how i personally think they build the pyramids but they keeping these knowledge from us as as it means enlightenment or illuminati you're meant to be a light being a light bearer someone with the wisdom you know what i mean the 33 heights of knowledge and 33 is a very significant number right because as they said that's the age either jesus died or something like that and there's 33 33 bones from your spine going up to your brain and you know what i mean so 
there's a lot of things to this thing that they try to keep us distracted so we won't pay attention to certain things just like how this corona thing is kicking in it's just a way to take your freedom away so now they can say oh yeah for you to pass the port you now need a certain document so once you can once they're allowed to do that we allow them to take that form of freedom away then they're going to come in with many other things you know probably the chip in your hand to say who ain't got a chip in their hand can't do certain things because anyone that's been on holiday and i'm not going off topic i'm just touching on this one quickly anyone that's been on holiday lately can tell you once they come back they have to self-quarantine and most of them i'm not sure if you look just leave it in a comment and let me know they have to download an app right and this app it's now what it does it monitors that person who's been on holiday and if you haven't been quarantining for the two weeks they tell you to and you go out with your phone forgetting the app and you go around someone else who actually has been on holiday as well and they might they, what it does it flags up to say you've been around someone with coronavirus and they will send you a message to tell you now to self quarantine for another however long right and if you don't do that it's going to become monetary because remember people are not think people are forgetting that the army's already here right so everything is just putting into place right so the second wave of corona as well it will hit in the winter time it hasn't gone anywhere as i said in my previous video if it did exist because corona is just a man-made thing as i said again in my previous video six 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 protons six electrons six neutron that's the, the dna of a man right so when your bible is telling you you're dealing with principalities in high places they're talking about the man them at the top that's actually governing us the people the mass right that's what the bible is talking about so you can't just read your bible as it says you have to or your quran or your torah you have to break these downs break them down and then look around and make it fit to the 2020 era because everyone's looking at their biblical structure with an old mind and now we're in the new era so that's all I wanted to really and say like we have to pay attention to a lot of things because these people they know the knowledge and they know who we are but they're trying to keep it down you know as I said in my previous video before right that all of this heat thing putting in your pineal gland I reckon is just to find out the 144,000 people that God put the seal on, his, on their forehead waiting for the right time to rise them up and I feel because this is only happening because there's a spiritual shift but people are not understanding it why we're growing our hair just naturally we're just starting to go back to a natural form you know everything right now is in its natural form and its natural way right how everything used to be so that's just my thought process for today is just how I feel they've made the pyramid and everything is just these people what I'm trying to say is these people have the knowledge and they're keeping it from us and the bible also tells you and i'm standing on the bible as i said before because that's how i grew up if you grew up on the quran it would tell you similar stuff in a different way to deal with your journey because everyone's got their own journey to deal with right me and your journey is not the same thing but we may see eye to eye in some paths and that's just what i wanted to let you lot know that everyone right now just need to stay focused and just watch what's happening around us and be careful with all this traveling stuff you know what i mean because as i said before they know what they're doing and they know who we are we don't know who we are